Hey everyone, we're just going to quickly go over how to code this problem from start to finish using two different methods. So let's try and think about this in layman's terms. The directions are asking us to determine what breakfast item to cook based off of the ingredients that we have. The ingredients are listed as variables to the left that hold Boolean values of either true or false. The directions also explicitly state that there is an order that has to be followed. For example, if we have all of the ingredients, so if all four of these variables are true, then we have to make pancakes. But if we're missing flour, then we have to make an omelet. And if we're only missing flour, then we have to make an omelet. If we're missing flour and butter, then we have to make a custard. And, and if we only have an egg, so if only the egg is true, then we have to make poached eggs. So I'm hoping you guys picked up on my choice of words here and how I said if because using if statements is how we're going to solve this problem. So since pancakes requires all four of the variables to be true, let's start off with figuring out whether or not we should um, cook pancakes or not. So if we have eggs, eggs, and milk, and butter, and flour, then we want to make or print out pancakes to the console. So just watch my use of and here um, instead of the um, using or. We use and because we need all four of these variables to be true. If even one of these were false, then this whole statement would have to be false because we can't make pancakes without one of these variables. So now let's keep going. So now if we have, so now let's figure out whether or not we should make an omelet. So if we have an egg, and we have milk and we have butter, then we want to print out an omelet. And so on and so forth. So if we have an egg and we have milk but nothing else, then we want to print out cust oops. custard. And if we only have an egg, then we want to print out that it is a poached eggs. All right, so let's make sure that we didn't make any syn syntax errors or anything like that, okay? And then it says at the very bottom, it says, if you do not have the ingredients to make any of these items, then we need to print out, go to the store. So let's just you know, put a little else statement in here saying, go to the store. So let me show you. All right, so let's run this and see what happens. Whoa, it printed out all four of the options, but we didn't want that happening. So let's go back and see what we did wrong here. So here, what happened is that we ran an if statement, and then we had another if statement, so it just kept running through all these if statements. So what we want here, instead of an if statement, is an elif statement. Because we, so once it hits one if statement and it's true, then we wanted to stop running. Because we don't want it to make anything else, we just wanted to make the one that has all of the ingredients, essentially. So we gotta change these to L if statements. And we have the L statement that just corresponds to the, all of these L if statements, because if we don't have any of this, then we want it to, uh, then we want to go to the store. So now let's run this and see what we get. And we get pancakes because all four are true. And let's change this up and let's say we don't have butter. Um, or actually let's say that we don't have, let's say we don't have um, flour. So let's run that. And we see that we get an omelet. And let's say we don't have butter. we see that we get custard. And let's say we don't have milk. We see that we get poached eggs. And if we have no ingredients, then we see that we have to go to the store. All right. That was one way of coding this problem. Here's another take. 
In the previous example, we said if there was eggs and milk and butter and flour, we should make pancakes. We could have instead said if there is eggs, if there is milk, if there is butter, and if there is flour, then we make pancakes. So let's see what that looks like after it's written in code. So if we have eggs, then we want to say, so then we need to check whether or not we have butter. Oh, the next one's milk. If, if we have milk, and then we need to see if we have butter, and then we need to see if we have flour. So note my use of just writing the if statement and then the variable. Since the variable holds a Boolean value, this is the same as saying if egg is equal to true, because this is just a short, shorter way, shorter and more efficient way of writing if egg is equal equal to true. And let's make these true again because I'm trying to test that out. So if we have all four, then we want to print out that we have to make pancakes. And now let's see. So now we need to sort of work backwards in a sense. So if we have all four, then we need to print out pancakes. But if this flower is false, then, so we need to have an else statement now. So if flower is false, but if all three of them are true, so if this is true, if this is true, if this is true, but if this is false, then it has to go to the else statement. And, and there we want to print out an omelet. And then one, two, three, four. And then if we don't have a butter, so if this doesn't run and it goes to the else statement, then we want it to print out. So we don't have, so we have eggs and milk, but we don't have butter, so we want to print out custard. And if we only have eggs, so if only this is true, and if this is false, then we want it to print out. Poached eggs. And if none of it is true, so if it doesn't even go past the first if statement, then that means that we have no ingredients, which means that we need to print out that we have to go to the store. So here it looks like a staircase, and, and notice how we used if statements here instead of L if statements, because we use if statements if we want to check multiple conditions in a sense um, but um, so in the previous example we used LF statements because once we ran that first line we didn't want anything else to run so let's run this and see what we get so we get pancakes because we made all of this is true and now let's submit it and see if we got the right answer. So we got well done.